Welcome to the Breakup Recovery Podcasts by your host, Barbara Stevens. Discover the wisdom and remarkable insights of Barbara Stevens, breakup recovery mentor, author, and public speaker. Barbara offers programs and solutions for any breakup so you can turn your life around, create lasting changes for the better, and embrace life again. Hello and welcome to Breakup Recovery Podcast. I'm Barbara Stevens and I'm a Breakup Recovery Mentor. And this is episode number 067. Can there be any positives after a breakup? The majority of my clients find it very difficult to see anything positive in their lives after their breakup. Breaking up is hard and tough. There are so many roller coasters to ride. All you want to do is get back to that happy place, that place you were in before your breakup. So often when you are going through your breakup, you seem to get bogged down in all the things that are going wrong, all the things that aren't going your way, the pain and anguish you are feeling, all the things you want to change. Breaking up is definitely not a pleasurable process. Sometimes you're obsessing on the things you cannot change, like the way your ex has treated you, or the negative and bad things that they have said and done to you in the past. As much as you try to, you can't find an awful lot of things to be grateful for, things that bring pleasure into your life, something nice to look forward to, instead of the pain and suffering that seems to be taking over your life right now. It seems like the happiness has been sucked right out of you. These destructive thoughts can go around and around in your head until you think your head is going to explode. You get headaches and your every thought is negative and unhelpful. And because you have so many negative thoughts taking up space in your mind, you don't seem to be able to find anything that is going right in your life. You can't even seem to remember the times when you were happy. Or they seem a distant memory and you struggle to turn this situation around. But if you close your mind to the negative thoughts and the thoughts on events and things that have happened in your past and open your mind to the possibility that there could be something positive, there could be something to look forward to after your breakup, if you choose to look for these, how much better would your life be? But you have to be prepared to stop being stuck in the negativity, stop the cycle of thinking in the past because this will not help you to move forward. It is so unhelpful to you. I want you to try this. I want you to get out your pen and paper and make a list of all the things you are grateful for. Then look for all the things that are going right for you right now. And then look for all the things that you have to look forward to. Now, some people will say they have nothing to be grateful for. I'm not always talking about material possessions when I'm asking you to acknowledge what you have in your life that you can be grateful for. Sure, there are things like the shelter you call your home, the car you have, the bus and train you have for transport, the job that provides money for you to have all the material possessions in your life. There are other things in this life that are not material possessions that you can be grateful for, and this includes the sun that shines each day the rain that waters the earth, the wind that brings the breezes to cool us down, the ocean for us to swim in, the forest for us to walk through, the bunch of flowers that make us feel wanted and appreciated, your children that bring joy into your life, your family and friends that are there to support you, the food that is on your table, all those things and more can all be recognised as things to be grateful for. So what is on your gratitude list? What is going right for you? You have possibly ended a relationship that was not serving you. A relationship that was not a happy one. A relationship that was violent and abusive. A relationship whereby you were trapped or you lived with a controlling and narcissistic person. A relationship whereby the other person did not value and respect you. A relationship whereby you were cheated on. A relationship that you were constantly compromising things you wanted in life. So that is what is going right for you. You are now free to choose the life you want. 
You can have peace and contentment inside your home. There is no more fighting, no more battles to be waged, no one telling you what to do and when to do it, no more walking on eggshells. Which reminds me of a story a client told me. Every time the garage roller door would open in the afternoon, she knew it was her husband coming home from work. She would usually be in the kitchen preparing dinner for the family or helping one of the children do their homework. But every day when she heard that garage door open, her heart began to race. She had no idea what sort of mood her husband would be in, what rants she would have to endure, what sarcastic comments would come her way, what demands he would make on her. It was as if a cyclone or a tornado came rushing through that door and the calm and serenity of her life changed in that one moment. And I know that this feeling is shared by a lot of people. It's a common feeling when you're in a relationship that is volatile and explosive. This lady is now living a completely different life now that she has divorced her husband. The home is calmer, she is so much happier, and there is no more conflict in her life. It is like a weight has been lifted off her shoulders, a sense of relief. That fear that she felt that her life would be turned upside down when the garage door is open has gone. She no longer has to live a life that is a sham. She no longer has to pretend to the outside world that she was in a happy marriage because it wasn't. So after a breakup, there is a lot to look forward to. There is no more worrying about the other person. No more having to maintain their relationships with their children or close friends. It's up to them now. It's not until the relationship ends do you realise how much you did for that person. How much you organised and prepared so that things got done and life travelled along without any glitches. Your responsibility has, for all of that, now finished. It's up to your ex-partner to continue these relationships. You no longer have to pretend to like the irritating family or annoying friends just to keep the peace. You can live where you want. You can choose to decorate your home in any style you want. You can choose what meals you are going to eat, what time of the day you want to consume them, what restaurant or cafe you want to eat at. No more sharing. No more sharing the TV remote, the bathroom, the closet space. The bed is all yours now. You are now an independent person who can plan the life you want. Sure, it will be challenging at times. Not everything goes to plan or the way we want or think it should. But you have grown as a person after your breakup and now it is time to plan for your future, the one that will make you happy. The things that you have to look forward to might be starting to cross off items on your bucket list. What have you always wanted to do or try and haven't because you were in a relationship or you didn't have enough time in the day? What are you passionate about and haven't got involved with because you were stuck in a rut? There are an abundance of opportunities waiting for you. What have you been missing out on? What relationships have you let slide over the years and now can rekindle them or make them stronger because you now have the time and drive to do that. You also discover the friends that you can count on when things get tough, those that stood beside you when things got rough throughout your breakup, and acknowledge how much stronger your bonds are with the people who supported and stood beside you. Or another thing you might have to look forward to are bonding with your children one-on-one, spending time doing the things you all love to do. Breakups also help us develop a better sense of empathy for others. After going through your own breakup, you better understand the pain that others are going through when they experience their own breakups. It will be easier for you to connect to those people and offer your support and help them through their journey. It is now time that you can focus on yourself, some self-care. It seems that when we are in a relationship, we can lose part of ourselves. You become a bonded unit with your partner. When you go through a breakup, you are never the same person you were when you first entered into the relationship. 
So now you can take this time to focus on the most important relationship, the one with yourself. You are no longer someone's partner, someone's wife or husband, someone's boyfriend or girlfriend, fiancé, spouse or significant other. So many things have changed and you've changed with this experience. So it's time to reconnect with you and take the time to see things a lot more clearly and to find what makes you happy. It's also time to discover what lessons have come up for you after your breakup. Was it a lesson on what sort of personality you are attracted to and if that is the right one for you? Has this past relationship taught you what to look for or not to look for in your next partner, what you need from your next relationship and if and when you want one. So take the time to look for the lessons so that you don't repeat the same mistake next time round. This is your time, so make it count. If you feel that you are still struggling with your breakup, if you are experiencing intense feelings of anger, resentment and bitterness, and it is taking over your life, I'm here to help you in this area of moving on and coping after your breakup. I work with my clients one-on-one -on -one through my mentoring program. If you want to learn more about how we can work together, contact me via email or my Facebook page, Barbara Stevens Breakup Recovery Mentor, and book in for my free 30-minute sounding board session, and we can set up a time that suits. In this free session, you will walk away with clarity about your situation, strategies and tools to start building the future you deserve. So together, we can start your journey of recovery. All my information is on my website, www.barbarastevens.com.au. If you don't want to miss an episode of Breakup Recovery Podcast, subscribe on iTunes and I would appreciate it if you could take the time to write a review and rate the podcast. Also feel free to message me with any questions that you have about Breakup Recovery podcasts or subjects that you want me to cover in future podcast episodes by clicking on the contact button of my website or my Facebook page. I'm always looking for ways to help you recover from your breakup. And the last thing I'd like to say is, be gentle on yourself. You deserve happiness. If you would like to hear previous Breakup Recovery podcasts, visit barbastevens.com.au. Connect with Barbara Stevens on social media with Barbara Stevens Breakup Recovery Mentor on Facebook and at You'll Be OK on Twitter. Read further blogs, view webinar replays, and download your free ebook, Three Easy Steps to Surviving Your Breakup, and much more at barbastevens.com.au.